What's up, everybody? Welcome to Kind of Funny Reacts to the Annapurna Interactive Showcase. I'm Greg. That's the Future Class of Video Games. Blessing Eddie Uyo Jr. That is the Master of Hype Snowbike Mike, and we are about to see what Annapurna has up their sleeves. Blessing, I'm incredibly yes. excited for this. I'm also incredibly excited for this. Annapurna has been killing it over the last few years with their game publishing. And I know in terms of what we expect from them this year, right? We got things like 12 Minutes, we got Solar Ash, oh, we got uh, Stray. Oh, and I'm very excited oh, to get more details about those games. Hopefully more games they got coming up. So everybody, sit back, kick your feet up. Florence, fuck yes, as they go through their greatest hits here. Sayonara, Wild Hearts. I forget how dope they are. <laughs> Dude, Annapurna is like that game company right where not, 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 not that game company but yeah. they're that game company of like when i see it i'm like oh this is gonna be a great game oh yeah in fact I, I have the exact same thing we were talking about a little bit on kfgd the other day that uh you know they remind me a little bit of a24 of course annapurna the film uh, film division of it and a24 yeah. kind of have some weird things that they got going on uh but on the game side they really have an eye for publishing games with a specific kind of energy but like, i think the thing that all the games have in common is that one they're unique but then also they just they're just extremely quality you know no matter which one i name uh from sinara water hearts to outer wilds to pathless all these games speak to me some sort of way so i look forward at this point to anything they have going out this is my favorite thing about it where i think you're, we're so lucky to live in a time where there's all these independent uh publishers of video games and what i mean by that is not playstation not xbox not Hello nintendo everyone. right my name is Kelsey, that have their own I'd like identity to welcome you, to you know the what first Annapurna Annapurna game's gonna look like we know what a devolver showcase. game's gonna look as like as we enter our awesome. sixth year we yeah. want to thank everyone for sixth the overwhelming year. amount of support we've received along the way and because of that we felt it was time to share what's next directly with you Today we'll have Kev, about 25 really loud, minutes chat, of so. new game announcements, deeper dives on previously announced games, and short profiles on just a few of the developers we are really excited to be working with. We appreciate everyone watching and want to thank our partners from all over the world for making this possible. Now let's get this started. Also, I do want to shout out. Oh, shout it out. No more. The Artful Escape. The Artful Escape looks pretty cool too. Oh yeah. We've seen this a couple of times. Very excited. Yeah. So you're I forgot that I have my shadows of Johnson. Oh, oh you got the collection. That's I nice. got the a collection. That. Yeah, because I love them so much. It's just that I guess folks think they know who I am, where I should be going. Hmm. Have you considered becoming someone else entirely? Someone else entirely. <laughs> I've decided to create the most elaborate stage persona the world has ever seen. I feel like we've heard about this game for years at dinner? this point. Mm -hmm. We're having enchiladas. The boy you love. Don't get me wrong. Looks dope. Gone. Yeah. <laughs> like this looks awesome. Again, this is a Greg Miller ass game the way they're showing it, right? The art reminds me a bit of Broken Age, which I yeah, I totally adore Broken Age. Yeah. We're going on a ride across the dilated pupils of the cosmos. Ooh. The future is yours if you have the courage to grasp it. Carl Weathers. That's awesome. Wow. Oh, oh nice shit. Oh, there we shit. go. Oh my god, okay. blessing the game calendar Oh, and game That's pass. Okay, let's go. Was that September 9th? Yeah. yeah. I'm Ben Esposito. In 2018, Ooh, I released on a county, a wholesome what a fun game designed for kids and adults alike. After that, I decided that my next game will not be for kids or adults. It'll be a game for freaks. <laughs> Neon White is a single player oh, speedrunning FPS this. Yeah. where you can yeah. sacrifice your guns yeah. for godlike This is with the moves. cards or something crazy, right? You play as yep. White, a dead Car assassin. Yeah. This game looks super rad. I cannot wait as for this. As a Neon, you have 10 days there to purge heaven yep. of a demonic cards. invasion, but you're not alone. Only the fastest Demon Slayer will earn the right to stay in heaven. As you play White's story, you'll have plenty of opportunities to get to know the other Neons. 
soul cards. You could use a soul card's magic to shoot the like art of this gun, one or you can discard it to use its special movement ability. Oh, fuck. What was the name when of the game that came out? When to discard September is up to last you. Year. But if you want to go fast, you're going to need to like discard your Rompa cards. Chat. Don't be afraid to use them. You can't take cards with you to the next level. First person deduction game. Here's your handgun. Discard it to use Elevate, which lets you double jump know. to attack from above or create new shortcuts. Somebody in chat will know. Sure. Here's your SMG. Discard it to use Stomp. Paradise Killer. Yes. And here we have the shotgun. Discard it to launch yourself like a fireball. Now let's put it together. I'll demonstrate a level for you. Neon White is Does made this up of do something for you, boss? You can levels that are meant to be replayed. I really want to check this out. This, this seems really unique. As you gain I, I like the style of it. Insight. And mm -hmm. usually the card combat you games. You can share level times with friends. Speak to me, or but I do, yeah. I do like. You can compete on the uh, global neon leaderboard. I do like how this looks. Like I do like the the action they've shown so far. I got a silver. The with the speed running insight, as well. I'm interested to hear what you think after playing Boomerang X. You know what I mean? With all that movement and stuff, I wonder what you think of. The idea of speed running and like moving fast throughout this would be cool. Yeah. Because like they're flying now with these different this cards. Does, yeah, has some cool. boomerang X movement to it, it looks like. Piece of cake. Now, that was wild. Practice. Eight seconds. Top medals yeah. improve your neon rank, which You'll never unlocks really even more like, missions. Even, oh, also, you know that. Insight, Come on, Greg. You know me. Hints for I can't do that. And a hidden collectible and but you know what I can do? You can I can put up great times in core games. You know what I mean? I can put up killer times in core games. use of card resources to collect. Oh, look at this. It's a Tattletale toy. I know someone who oh, loves these. Let's go find her. Tattertail. Yeah, there you go. This is the map of Central Heaven. Here you'll get new missions and events where you can spend time with the other characters. Dude, this is so paradise. Giving killer. gifts you found in your missions will deepen your relationships, which can lead to oh. certain encounters. You can bang. Oh, it's not a traditional We're banging. Sim, okay. There's like okay. lots of juicy content to unlock, like side quests, exploring the underworld. Okay. And hidden That's... memories from your past life, which might change how your story ends. During the 10 days of judgment, you'll find like weapons it. made of human souls, meet angels in the flesh, and if you become the number one demon slayer, they'll give you an ice cream cone. Oh, oh, okay. That's Neon a nice White reward. is coming to Nintendo Switch and PC this winter. If you're a freak, put it on your Steam wish list. On behalf of the team, thank you. We'll see you in heaven. Okay, if you're a freak, go get it. Are you a freak? That was just a bunch of nonsense, and I liked it the way he signs off. I clicked off for one second. Did they have? Did they say a date or anything? Yeah, uh, winter. No. Okay. Out of loop. What are they, what's what's Eka up to, everybody? Of course, I'm making another Falcon game about a Falcon. I'm Chandana yeah. Ekanayaka. I'm the studio head at Outer Loop Games. Uh, I'm a designer and artist. We're uh, in my backyard in Balfa, Washington, just uh, north of Seattle, and I uh, run my studio out of my bedroom. So I'd worked cool. with Eka for several years previously on Eka, good different people. projects, and he pitched Dude, me I got this, an interview uh, game with uh, a bird in it. The okay we prototyped He's that, really cool. pitched it around, and that turned into Outer Loop. <laughs> I grew up in Sri Lanka, which is a former British colony, Falcon Age. It's a sci-fi game set in a, in a distant planet, but it's loosely based on anti-colonial sentiment. So for this new game, it's an idea I've Beautiful had for a couple too. of years while we were making oh my God, Falcon great Age. Hair. Um, I didn't know what exactly what the game was going to be, but I knew thematically what we wanted to try to do. And I have a writing partner, Meg, who is in Bangalore. It took us a couple of years to kind of figure out the core idea for the story and the theme. And then we kind of pitch it to the team and see how they like it. It deals closer to some of the themes I wanted to try to tackle next, which is immigrant culture, growing hey. up in the U.S., mm. gossip and aunties, and overbearing Scott parents, uh, and family pressure. And uh, really never have I ever, things I all love. The whole crew of 15 and bringing their own so This is going to be your favorite game. Myself this game is your favorite game. We knew it's each so other back in like. California on my first job, actually, and then eventually ended up starting out a loop. Every game I make, there's some aspect of juggling, parkour, martial what? arts, skateboarding. We're going to go skating. This is all I You know the fact that I made it to the flip. One of my main <laughs> things is I want games to be really accessible and easy. So I've been skateboarding for about 24 years and I'm terrible at it. The Tony Hawk type of games, it's a break from reality of what actual skateboarding God, is Seattle. and more of like the things I actually want to do. You rarely crash in the skateboarding portion because I'm trying to make it as accessible to as many people as possible. Good job. In my 20 plus years, this has been the most fun team I've ever worked on. <laughs> we wanted to put something out there that's more reflective of our, our lived experiences, which 
we feel like as, as a game will stand out. Our process has been find a unique theme that's not out there and then mix it with some more familiar gameplay. And that's, that's what we did with Falcon Age and that's what we're doing with the new game. We're really excited to talk about it. Oh, no name. Just It was just a partnership, right? Yeah. That's awesome, though. Yeah, no, for sure. They're a talented studio. I'm excited to see what they have. I wonder how far out it'll be, though. This is what I'm talking about. Anna Pert is just like, let's make games that Greg Miller will love. <laughs> it's like, All right, cool. Rainy day. Listen to music. Yeah, this is what I want to play. Dude. Yeah, I love that. Game Day Pass is crazy. I love the map. I love Journey and all around showing us where all these different developers are. This is fun. Yeah, this is cool. Really awesome. Hi, my name is Jessica Mack. I'm a solo game dev from Toronto, Canada. This is my cat. My parents, they started a computer store. This is like in the early 80s. And back then, most people didn't have computers in their homes, but we did. And I guess as a side effect of that, I was also interested in how computers work. I would always tinker with them. And I met a friend who gave me my first compiler. It, it just seemed like magic. Like, how did you even make it? Not even a video game, but like a program. I started off working alone because there was nobody else. My first game was solo. And then the second game, I collaborated yes. with a musician. Oh, that was then great. I was yeah. actually yes. sit down and write songs. Yeah, I was going to shout out the properly. keyboard instrument in the, the top music right in this shot. Game, I was like, I what is that? Confident about. But now this the makes analogy sense. I think of is I say you're writing this song and you're like, we need someone to go off on the guitar at this point, guitar solo time. You can't tell someone how to do that. You just have to have the instrument in your hand and and you have to feel it, and you have to be like yeah, one with it, be and a let it rip. For sure. It's the same way with video games. The computer is my instrument. The compiler is my instrument. I find I work strongest when I work in here, when it's just subconscious. You're just flowing in it, and you're making 100 decisions a second. And then by the time you come out of it, it's like it almost feels like you're waking up. With music, you can write a song that's three minutes and thirty seconds, and My, so much happens like in it. The polar opposite Every of is like it's something new, something the, new, something new. Um, what that's was the sort of the press density conference that I want to put like in Friday this or game. Where it was all cozy games. Music oh, that you mean Koch. You're talking about Koch? Yes, yes. yes. the prime time. This feels like the exact opposite And so all my that. games are Where I'm actually focused. really caring about these dev interviews, the, the way they're shot, frames. Yep. for me yep. is yep. very much I'm into as it. important as the game part yeah, of it Yeah, I mean, I think itself. you and Greg talked about it, this like Annapurna, game, right? That prestige, you kind of know them, what they're known for. And clearly this team really got the message, right? They figured out the assignment. Let's go in there to allow these incredible developers to speak about their game in a short, quick, concise manner. Manner, hit you with some great music in the background, show off their game, get out of here, right? Yeah, None of this is about it. Yeah, move on. Yeah. Let's get the best quotes and then, you know, let's yeah. get them out there. Let's move on to the gameplay. Let's move on to the next thing. Yeah, but it's great. I mean, this is a really cool way to set it all up, right? And this is a team that's been around, right? Koch, that was their first attempt at this, right? You expect sure. Annapurna to bring something good here. You were given a title. Because like the fact that we've had two so far where they didn't have the game to show, but we're still in it, we're still interested. Like yeah. that's a really awesome thing. That's really impressive. Okay. Florence. 
Lords 2. Oh no, oh, don't one. kill Eleanor. Reading a little book. Okay, oh. I like that. Okay. Okay. I love this. Yeah, I really dig this. I like the question mark above the guy's head. That's funny. Okay. This does feel a little cured bit from too. vampirism. Are you yeah. fucking kidding me? This game it's looks wild. dope as fuck. <laughs> Steam. I mean, a lot of coming soon stuff right now. Well, how far away is soon? Yeah, I, I really know. wish it was. You know what I mean? Yeah, they were it's always you, interesting huh? when you say soon, it's like, how close is that? You know, when Osiris, that's awesome. Solar Let's Ash. Let's go. Give me that date. Oh, Solar Ash. Give okay. Yeah. Date. Uh huh. God, I really can't wait for this. Whoa, that was wild looking. Okay. God, this this just seems so much like pathless that I yeah. can't I, I can't wait. Just get in there and just fucking skate around. Give me a date. Oh, oh okay. Let's go. Right around the corner. Anniversary, of course, of uh, PS2's release in America. <laughs> that was okay. 2000, okay. remember? And then 2001, uh, that's the, that's the, the date um, where you have to guess uh, who the, the little cartoon Same day as Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy, no. also. Well, the hi game, there. Not the movie. <laughs> Hello. My name is Davey Reedon. I was the creator oh, we got some of tea Stanley going? Carvel okay. and The Beginner's Guide. I'm Carlos Amanjo. I me. was co-creator of Gone Home and Tacoma. And we, wow, uh, check that out. Studio. Okay. It's true. It's called Ivy Road. What a team We're here. Working together. We're making a video game. We're working with Annapurna to make a totally unannounced game that we can't talk about yet. We are very, okay. very lucky to get to be joined by our good friend Daniel Rosenfeld, aka C418, the musician from Minecraft. And speaking of, Daniel cool. is actually composing the music that you're hearing right now at this very moment. Let's go to him. Hey there, oh, hey, no, 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 sorry, I didn't, no, 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 I don't want to, you're good, you're good, I just, I'm just, for the people, just saying, you know, hey, so. Can we give him a treat? No, 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 don't, don't feed him. Looks like, sorry, we'll leave Bo him alone. Burnham's varying cheers. it for yeah. Earth yeah, cheers. Yeah, Yeah. Mm, ow. <laughs> Who eating this tea? We are both super excited about Ivy Road and uh, about the thing that we are working on together that we can't talk about. Uh, all we can really talk about is each other right now. And That's so true, I, I wrote a couple questions to ask you to kind of get to know you a little bit better to find out more okay. for, for the people at home uh, and about sort of our studio culture and what that's like. So question number one, if you really are a true gamer, name 10,000 games. Oh man. Well, I mean, <laughs> honestly, there's like uh, Final Fantasy 1 through 10,000. <laughs> okay, actually that's, I didn't expect her to get that right. A bus leaves Atlanta at 10.30 a.m. Okay. traveling west at okay. 55 miles an hour. Okay. Why? You don't want to leave Atlanta? Yeah. Uh, last question for you here. Uh, why do kids love the taste of Cinnamon Toast Crunch? You know, I understand the child psychologists have been debating this for like, Decades. You know, there's two schools of thought. They're just well, putting the bags in there. Is that what we're supposed to do? Is that how we're doing? Yeah, that's what we're doing. That's how we're doing. That's how we're doing. That's it. Okay. Now I'm just putting everything in there. Daniel. We're just throwing it in there now. Oh. Cheers. Cheers. Tea. Tea. Dude. 
so far they've had three games that weren't able to be announced, but they've killed it like each time in terms of getting me interested. I'm in for whatever they're making. Yeah, 100. percent That was going really home fun. is Stanley uh, Parable. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Minecraft composer. So wanna... you've decided yeah, to be an cool. insurance nice commando. Pirates are kidnapping cats from our ships. Oh. Luckily, the cats bought our deluxe insurance package. You. Your mission: eradicate the Oh, I like this. Okay. Give me a good weapons wall. I'm down. Protocol one two seven oh, one. Yes. No bullets, no problem. Oh, okay. A little peek. This has uh, some void bastards vibe. Yeah, here. that's what I picked up. Is right up vibe in like. Oh, check that out. Oh my god. Oh. Gotcha. Protocol 832, being smelly and what to do about it. Oh, oh no. okay. You're making smell clouds. You're so dirty, a space pirate smells you. Wash your whole body. Beware of blades. Protocol 999. Waste not, want not. Okay, you got me. I'm into that one. That's the one I want. Yeah, I like that. And remember, if you screw up, it's not the end. Co-op. No. <laughs> okay, defibrillated, baby. Let's go. All right. That's really good. Fun time. Platform updates. Coming to more platforms. Uh, yeah. Uh, Edith going. Oh. Everybody play What Remains if you haven't. Really good game. Real good. Do they still promote Apple Arcade? What happened to that? That game they wouldn't come to Apple, Apple Arcade. Arcade? That's weird. Okay. I like yoga. Okay, August 9th, right around the corner. Yeah, you think so? Okay. I just want to see oh, you try to yeah. be a detective. I think it'd be a great game to stream. That game drove me mad for like a night when I was playing it. Dude, I that was I had such a great Sunday with it where I had it on my iPad at the time and I had all the notes I scribbled out and like you yeah. know, drawing lines to everything, trying to figure it all together. Yeah, I think we played it for a segment on PS Lovey, so I had it for uh, PS4 and huh? legit just had my console on all day as I, I would just periodically go through all the the tapes and all that stuff trying to figure out like what the fuck is going on straight right Hello everyone my name is Swan, producer at blue 12 studio and today i'm going to show you more about stray what if it's out today guys man wouldn't that be wild blast finally like, that would be Friday awesome. Off. Everybody get pumped up. In Stray, you play as a cat who has fallen inside a mysterious and forgotten city. Separated from his family and injured, he will have to explore and survive in this unwelcoming environment. Hey, kind of a, a kind of a dark, dark vibe to start off here right now. All right. From the cat's unique point of view, 
Players must navigate their way through the dangers of this unfriendly place. I want to play this game so bad. I want to play this game so bad. Why does it look like the last was for cats? Yeah, yeah it's like, got why, wild. Why is the quality of this game so good? <laughs> why do you have graphics like this? It's a smart oh, cat. Oh, wow. Close the fridge door, though. Come on. <laughs> You're letting all the coal down. Oh no. That sucks. <laughs> Chat is chanting Kate and Drake. Like, Cat and Drake. Oh. Along his journey, the cat will meet a small drone named B12. Using the drone's ability to interact with objects in the world and communicate with the strange inhabitants of this secluded place, together they will work to learn more about the secrets of this forgotten community of human-like machines. I don't understand how this game looks this good. <laughs> the kitty game. game just continues to impress. It's yeah. just so of cool course, every single time you see it. Cat, and his adventures will be filled with friendly and playful interactions with his new world. But these machines are not the only inhabitants of the city, and some encounters will not be as friendly or safe. Running the outside. Back, jumping oh, okay, and using okay. to avoid dangers will all be vital if you want to escape this city and be reunited with family. Do you think the parkour is going to be good in this game? I mean, it, you, they have to nail it, right? We're going to play as a cat. You got to capture the cat physics as well. So I'm going to say yeah. I want to see the cat like running on things. A way to defend yourself, and the prey might become the hunter. Oh, now you're gonna go out there and get after him, okay? But here's the thing: I looks like totally the flood. Be... Little mini flood creatures yeah. from Halo coming after you. Stray is uh, coming to PS4, PS5, as well as PC in early 2022, and we can't wait oh. to show you. Oh no, they think. There it is. Take your time. Lula. But I want it now. Cuddle up with it. Love that. Okay. That's awesome. Yeah, I can't wait for that. Okay. They really sold me. Scotland. No code park. It's funny, No Codes, I think we've kind of got the name of being a horror game dev, and for every game we've made, we've never set out to make a horror game. We've set out to make thrillers or atmospheric sci-fi. Sam, is that you making that noise? We release it and everyone's like, that was terrifying. We're like, was it? We've pretty much known each other since the third year of primary school. I'd be around at John and Graham's house, so they'd be around at, at mine. You kind of think back and you go, oh yeah, I was never really a big horror fan, and then you think, actually, that's all we watched. I think maybe Graham or Omar <laughs> got the Aliens director's cut, and so just every Thursday for about a year after school, it went on. We were always very close, playing in bands together. I think there always has been that sort of creative drive to sort of work on a project between us all, and so this, in many ways, feels very natural. I always knew if, if I was gonna start something, I'd probably do it with Omar or Graham 
um, or both. Making games as a job, I wouldn't have believed my older self we'd be doing this and working on the projects that we've worked on so far. Personally for me, No Code, and it's not because I'm working here, but they are one of the most exciting studios in Scotland by far, and I've always sort of had it in the back of my head that if I was ever going to jump ship, it would be to join them. It's incredibly encouraging to see where we could go, both as a company, but I think what we could do for the city of Glasgow as well. So we're working on a, a, a new project, so, you know, the, the, this project's kind of like our biggest project to date and obviously we've, we've scaled the team up, we've doubled in size. It's something that I didn't think we'd really get a chance to work on, you know, like something we'd be able to do in our career. It's one of these opportunities that come up and you just kind of, you have to move along with it. You know, we're taking what we do and what we love and trying to push it to the next stage with a bigger budget and a little bit more time. We've never really set out to make a horror game but we've kind of ended up in that. Whereas this game, we are setting out to make a horror game. I don't think anyone's expecting what we're going to do next, um, which makes it even more exciting. Okay. Okay. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Tune into our yeah, side next Wednesday, y'all. We're going to tell you. Oh, oh shit. Out of wild. Okay. Hey, folks. Alex from Mobius here. Just wanted to give you a brief update on what we've been up to behind the Veil of Shadows. First off, Mobius and Unity have partnered together and are working hard to bring Outer Wilds to the Nintendo Switch. We look forward to having it in your hands this holiday season. We are also very excited to officially announce that we're making an expansion for Outer Wilds, and it's oh, going to weave shit. directly into the existing world and narrative. Now, if you've played the game, you might be wondering, how? And also, why? And those are very good questions. <laughs> Wait. Oh, fuck. Okay. Without further ado, we hope you enjoy this willfully cryptic trailer for Outer Wilds' first and only expansion. This is such a good presentation. They're killing it. <laughs> They're absolutely killing it. Mike, we should stream some Outer Wilds. Definitely blessed. I can't wrap my mind around it, so if you want to show me around the world, I will gladly do it with you any day of the week. Man. Well, that's my thing, too, is that I've tried playing Outer Wilds multiple times, and the game, I just feel like, is way too smart for me. It's like the Dark Souls, but it's like Dark Souls, but for your brain, right? Where I'm just, I'm just like, yo, I'm an idiot. I can't get through this thing. Um, but I feel like we just got to commit. And well, just I'm right there with you. I've, I've, I'm in the exact same boat. I've tried Outer Wilds multiple times, and I'm just like, I don't like it. I, just, yeah. I get that everybody loves it, but I don't. It doesn't do it for me. Like I, I dig it for a bit, and then I get a couple hours in, and I'm like, okay, I found this. Okay, I'm connecting the dots on this, but I don't know where to go from here, and I just get lost, and I don't know where to go. And so, I, I think if we commit ourselves to it, we'll get through it. But all right, I'll hold you both to it. Then I'll make it happen. I'll schedule it out, and we can try it. September 28th. All right. Right around the corner. Big fall. Thank you so much for watching our first showcase. We hope you enjoyed the sneak peek into the world of Annapurna Interactive. Until next time. Great stuff. Great stuff, yeah. So yeah, as they, as they start to wrap it up here, we can go through it. Uh, Snow, Bike, Mike, what did you think of the Annapurna Interactive Showcase? Celebrating their sixth year. Oh, I had a blast. I mean, it was Annapurna Cheers. banked up to Ooh. 11, right? And that's exactly what we all wanted. I think. We're coming out of the E3 season a little burnt out on these presentations, right? And here's one in the middle of July, and you're thinking to yourself, do I want to tune into this? But yeah. then you see the name, you know the publisher, you know the developers that are going to be involved, and they did a terrific job. They kept it 40 minutes, they kept it tight, they kept it fun, and a lot of these games, whether they spoke to you or not, they're going to catch your eye, and that is what Annapurna Interactive does, is they have games that catch your eye. Big Daddy Bless, what do you think? Yeah, I thought that was fantastic. Like they have carved out such a good niche for themselves. You know, like they we talk about them doing the art house games, but it, I think it's the combination of them going for games with a unique style and vibe, but then also going for games that continue continue to prove uh, year over year that they are quality and they mm -hmm. are going to be games that you want to pay attention to. Whether it is things like Outer Wilds, which had plenty of game of the year uh, conversation around it, whether it's Sinar Wild Hearts, which has uh, uh, a large mm -hmm. audience that loves that game, including me. Right, looking at every single game that they announced here, I was at least at the very least a little bit into each and every single thing here, uh, if not super into the stuff they show they showed, and even the games that 
they didn't have stuff to talk about games that they couldn't officially reveal because they had quite a few of those yeah. even those i was like oh i'm on the lookout for what this is because you have sold me on the people working on it you sold me on the ideas they're working on it right like the outer outer loop game with uh eka and that team yep. when you when you talk to eka when you talk to the other folks when you talk to the dude who's like yeah dude i skate and i do parkour and i'm trying to inject that inject that into this game and you show a little bit of the sequences and how that looks in the development uh uh, uh development cycle in it looks really cool uh and you know i'm i'm pretty much interested in every single thing they had to show this is an a plus presentation for me i agree 100 percent with you i think this is s tier when we talk about presentations again uh obviously annapurna like we were talking about at the top of the show has an identity and you know what an annapurna game is going to be and so yes that might be for you like it is definitely for me and no it might not be for you like i know it is for a lot of gamers that's fine but i think they did a great job of showing a bunch of different games here and i'm with you or even something like neon white that isn't my jam the fact that it's been from donut county the fact that they let him talk the fact that they're in there they show it they're having an identity to it and then they're out right same thing for all these partnerships that can be the most boring thing in the world but doing something with outer loop doing something with ivy road letting them talk and explain who they are what they like about games what games they've made in the past is great. And then for quick teases, for me personally, uh, you know, a memoir blue right at the top of that list. Stray was amazing. I thought Skin Deep seems super interesting. Uh, Storyteller is totally a Greg game. Like, I'm stoked about everything we saw here. And I thought it went quick. It went fast. It gave you, it got in, it got out. It did its thing. It did a good job. Yeah. One of, one of the big complaints and rants I went on during that E3 season was about Koch Prime Time and how yeah. my main gripe with it wasn't that the games weren't interesting or uh, that the devs are going on or anything like that. My main gripe with that presentation was that they were doing the devs who were working on the games such a disservice for mm -hmm. so many games mm -hmm. that we weren't familiar with, so many games that we we were starting off from the place of not having interest in. They weren't doing those devs. Uh, uh, do, they weren't doing those devs a good service by just having them sit there and interview style, asking boring questions, allowing them to give answers that gave us no insight into actually what the games were. Here, they did the great thing, which was give each of the devs some personality, give them their own brand, give them something to highlight. Even with uh, stuff that they, they, even with devs that didn't have anything to say, just sure. ha having that having that bit where they're drinking tea and they're doing the weird stuff with the tea, and then they go to the Minecraft composer, and he's just like doing his thing right like stuff like that goes such a long way in terms of humanizing the people that are working on these games but then also giving the audience something to hold on to when it comes to what we think about when we think about uh that studio what we think about when we think about outer loop like that i think that is such a huge thing and the fact that they're able to have such a banger showcase without even having probably their biggest game release of the year which is 12 minutes that wasn't here, and they were still able to absolutely uh, destroy it in terms of how entertaining and, and uh, uh, informative the showcase was from revealing games. Like, shout out to that. They, they, this is, again is such a good showcase for them. Ladies and gentlemen, what did you think of the Annapurna Interactive Showcase? Let us know in the comments here on youtube.com slash kindoffunnygames. Of course, like, subscribe, share. And hey, did you know you could have been watching along live with us when there are these big presentations? We're live on twitch.tv slash kindoffunnygames, where it just so happens Mike's live each and every weekday with the Kind of Funny crew playing video games. I believe if you're watching live on twitch.tv slash kindoffunnygames, we're not done right now, right, Mike? That is correct. We're going to keep playing some games right now. So hang out with us and have some fun. If you ever want, if you're watching later on YouTube and you ever want to keep up with us, of course, you can go to youtube.com slash kind of funny plays our newest YouTube channel to see all of our stream archives over there. But maybe you don't want to go there. Maybe you want to do your life, whatever. This video is over is what I'm saying though. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, it's been our pleasure to serve you.